AutoCAD Plant 3D includes a variety of production isometric views that are based on a 3D model. The beauty of this feature is that it allows you to make your changes in one location, the model. You can produce additional or new views at any time during the project, and as the model changes, the isometric production views can change. There are two types of views we're going to create in this lesson, so let's get started. The first type of production ISO is the final. This type of document works great for design engineers that are not using the view to create fabrication documents. Before producing any view, it's a good idea to review and edit the isometric settings. From the Home tab, Project Panel, click Project Manager. From the drop down, click Project Setup. When the dialog appears, expand the isometric DWG settings. Click ISO Styles. Set the style to Final ANSI C. Select Annotations. Under Annotation shown on Drawings, make sure the only item checked is the BOM setting. For BOM annotations, use Automatic Numbering and No Enclosure Type. Under In Connection Annotations, deselect Append Coordinates and Elevation. Select Dimensions. Deselect the Locating Type Dimensions. Leave End to End and String Type selected. Next, let's make some changes for the other type of production ISO. Change the style to Spool ANSI B. Under Annotations, uncheck BOM. Change the weld and valve annotations to show in isoplane. Click dimensions and deselect end to end dimensions. Click OK to close project setup and save the changes. From the ISOs tab, ISO creation panel, click production ISO. The create production ISO dialog appears. If your project includes lines that are already numbered, you can filter the list to only show specific systems. Since our project is small, we won't apply a filter. Select both 100 and 100B. For the ISO style, select Final ANSI C. Leave Create DWF and Override Existing deselected. Click Advanced. On the Advanced ISO Creation Options dialog, you can adjust the export settings. The default includes the option to create a PCF file. I typically will only include this when a spool drawing is produced. Deselect this option. I do like to export BOM tables to Excel while I'm creating a final view, so select this option. Other options include cut piece and weld tables, but we'll leave these deselected. The Advanced Settings and Overrides allow you to ignore breakpoints and ISO annotations from the model. Reverse the ISO start and end points, which are based on flow direction assigned to the line model, and the north error direction. Leave these deselected. If you have a large ISO view or several lines in a project, it's a good idea to split the ISO when the properties change. I usually do this by line number and service but you can also split ISOs by spec, nominal diameter, and material. Select the Split ISO when property changes option and make sure line number and service are selected. Drawing congestion splitting can be automatically controlled by the program and you have a slider bar to look at the amount of line work that can be added in a view. Leave this set to the middle and click OK. Select Create to complete the command. Note that this command can take some time. and In this case, it should take around 30 seconds. In the meantime, I'd like to note that the new drawings will be automatically placed in the Final NCC folder on the Isometric DWG tab of the Project Manager. The program also automatically creates folders for check, spool, and stress drawings in addition to the final drawings.
When the command is finished, the log file details can be accessed from the pop-up dialog. This shows the number of drawings created and includes hyperlinks to the drawings. Let's select the first one and see the results. The document includes a portion of the diagram including a valve, a bill of materials list, a weld list, and other title block data. This is based on how the settings were defined in Project Setup. Close the drawing without saving changes. Let's run another production ISO. From the dialog, change the type to Spool ANSI B style. This time we'll only run line 100B. Since these are a different style, you won't need to overwrite existing since they are created in their own folder location. But you can create a DWF file if you want. For now, select Create. Whenever the program encounters an error, it shows up on the pop-up bubble. Select the shortcut to view the details. From the isometric creation results, select the Open Log File option. The text list will include errors that you can go back and correct or choose to ignore. But this is great since the program is helping me locate issues that might cause me to incur change orders or delays in fabrication. Close the dialog and open the first drawing. Since a spool drawing breaks the model down piece by piece or section by section depending on my settings, it provides a fabricator with an extremely detailed set of documents. When learning how to produce your final spool or stress documents, consider using the check styles first. It could save you a little time and help you avoid having to make a great deal of changes to your final documents. But once you get the kinks worked out, you're well on your way to completing a great project. 